Cause your mother take your mother come and get mother She knows you love me too She knows she's a kick a kick in the mother The sun, in its majestic department, stood still as His Highness the Emir of Kano Al Haji Dr. Adobai a CFR on Friday, the 8th of June 2012, conferred the title of the Majan Kano on the Central Bank Governor, Sunu Salami the Sunusi in recognition of his royal antecedents and the honor he has brought to the Kano Emirate through his howling successes in various spheres, especially in the banking sector. Such occasion, steeped in culture and tradition, with the trappings of royalty cannot but be chronicled for the world. Groundbreaking turbanen of the central bank governor, Malin Sunu Salami Amin Sunusi, with one of the most prestigious traditional titles in Kano Emirate, it's not a mere honorary gesture by His Royal Highness, the Emir of Kano Al Haji Dr. Ado by RCFR. As the lineage history narrated by an independent researcher of the Kano Palace, Nasr Wada Khalil, revealed him as a rightful heir to the regal title. Malalami is a hybrid of two class of. Uh people in Kano. He's, he has the royal blood and the blood of the Islamic scholars. His father is Basulib from Sulibawa clan, which is the ruling dynasty in Kano. He's a grandson of uh, Emir of Kano, the most famous Emir of Kano, Sir Muhammad Sunusi, Knight of British Empire and Khalifa of uh, Tijaniya movement. And uh, we know that Khalifa Sunusi was a son of uh, Emir of Kano Abdullahi Bahiru. Emir of Kano Abdullahi Bahiru is the son of Emir of Kano Abbas, but the first Emir after the invasion of the British colonial masters in Kano. And uh, Emir of Kano Abbas, the son of uh, Abdullahi Maji Karupi and Abdullahi Maji Karupi is the son of Ibrahim Dabu. Ibrahim Dabu is the first among the Silibawa dynasty that became the Emir of Kano and established a dynastic lineage up to the present moment. Therefore, from that angle, we can say that Lamidu is a dynast from Silibawa dynasty. He's a prince and he's a royalist. Preceding the historic Tobanin was the arrival of dignitaries from different parts of the country and beyond. Indeed, the palace of the Emir of Kano witnessed an unprecedented assemblage of visitors. Among them were Speaker, Nigeria's House of Representatives, the Right Honorable Amin Wazir Tambor. Members of the National Assembly, former heads of state General Yakubu Gawan and Muhammad Buhari, about 15 governors from different political parties, captains of industries, members of the business community, past and present, bank chief executives, traditional rulers from all parts of the country, and politicians from all vied registered their huge presence. Members of the diplomatic community were on hand to share the joy of the occasion. They all took turns to pay homage to the Damajan Kano as he got ready for the big event. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
The two-part supplementary prayer, which are an integral part of the Tobanin, were duly observed by Marlon Sunusalami the Sunusi inside the palace mosque. Before the Tobanin ceremony, the central bank governor received more guests and was eventually led to where the Tobanin of the royal title of Dammaji was conferred on him. The traditional title of Dammaji was introduced into Kano by Emir of Kano Muhammad Kisuki, the grandson of Emir of Kano Muhammad Rumfa, some 250 years before the Fulani dynasty. The Fulanis, however, having established the Sulawa dynasty, inherited this royal title from the Habe dynasty. Emir Alu once held the title under the Sulawa reign. Newly turbaned Ammaj and Kano, Sunu Salami the Sunusi, was born on the 31st of July 1961 in Kano with the family of Ambassador Muhammad Amin Sunusi, C.O.N. on the 17th Churuman Kano under the Fulani dynasty. Ambassador Muhammad Amin Sunusi inherited the royal title of Churuman Kano from his own father, who was the 11th Emir of Kano. Sa Muhammad Sunusi, who himself inherited his Chiroma royal title from his own father, Emir Abdullahi Bayeru, son of Emir Abbas, son of Emir Abdullahi, son of Emir Ibrahim Dabu, who was the first Emir of Sulawa clan and the second Fulani Emir of Kano. The ancient city of Kano has been adjudged as the headquarters of tradition and culture in the whole of northern Nigeria for centuries. To be eligible for the title, the nominee must be of high integrity and must be seen to have, over the years, been adding a lot of value to his community and the country at large. <laughs> Sankano Takawa Abumbu Gonga Bankano O Dakanawa Madamala Kashinkasa Adam Baywa Bongo Ni Majinkina Abu Bawa Matokara Tamasu Santasawa Jiji Kapuchi Gabang Nishinkiwa Hagari Saga Bankaba a hanawa madu uban sarakuna na arewa sha kallo da armashin dubawa mai kallan ka bashinu na gazawa dan bayan rafa hari Dalla gaida ti lon sarki, po 
taran sarakuna ada saraki in ka fito cikin su ba cika baki ko ma wa suke kamar le'en saki daga dai suke umfaga takawa kira shi barade da aikin sa ne a yau ya karade dan awadan lahadimi mai lugudi da ayyuka na kaire da ya karade buranan da balafiya daukawa saraki do ba shekara kana saka mana doki sarki mai hawa na ban mamaki ala amran ka koy abun mamaki mai tebe hasan kano da kana sabon cike a har da katawa na gazatar da wai sarau hotar baiwa mai mulki ya san Kano na Kanawa mai tsari ya san Kano na Kanawa bai isu ko ba san Kano dan baiwa After the historic Tobanen of the Damaji, he took part in a horse parade from the Emir's palace to his house located at Gandung Albasa quarters of Kano Metropolis. In company of friends, family members and well-wishers, it was indeed a colorful sight to behold. <laughs> The late Prince Lamido's father, Ambassador Amino Sunusi C.O.N., the Truman Kanu, was a technocrat and career diplomat. He served as Nigeria's ambassador to Belgium and China respectively. He was the chairman board of Nigeria Airways and pro-chancellor of the Governing Council, University of Jos, among other service engagements he undertook after his retirement from foreign service. The very strong pedigree and impressive record of achievement of his father must have served as a motivating factor for the new Damajan Kano, Sunu Salamido, to embark on a sound academic grounding from the best institutions quite early in life as a precocious student. The young Sunusi began his formal education at St. Anne's Catholic Primary School, Kaduna, from where he was admitted into King's College, Lagos. His experience there helped broaden his outlook about life. Lamy de Sunusi was at Ahmadibella University Zaria in 1977 for his university education 
where he graduated with a Bachelor's of Science degree in economics in 1981, followed by his master's degree program in development economics in the same university, and he graduated with a distinction in 1984. Sunusi Lamit Sunusi also studied Islamic law at the International University of Africa, Khartoum, Sudan graduating in 1997 with a first-class degree in Sharia and Islamic studies with a strong elective in Arabic. Sunusi's working experience began in 1983 at the ABU, where he taught economics. He began his banking career in 1985 at Icon Limited, Merchant Bankers, where he rose to the position of manager, North, in 1991. Sunu Salami Asunus worked at the United Bank for Africa, UBA PLC, as an expert in credit and risk management. The Majan Kano was also at the First Bank of Nigeria PLC, first as Executive Director Risk Management Control, later Acting GMD CEO and the Group MD CEO. This was in January 2009. However, this was to last for only six months, as Sunusi Lamit Sunusi was appointed as the central bank governor in June 2009 by the late President Umar Musa Iradua. Sunusi Lamit Sunusi is the 10th holder of the office of Nigeria's number one banker. A sound intellectual and strong advocate of adherence to ethical and corporate governance standards and the ethos of good practices. Malan Lami Asunusi is widely respected in the banking cycles for his contributions to the development of risk management. He has an incredible grasp of the intricacies of the global trend in the banking industry. Sunusi Lami Asunusi's quick and decisive steps only two months after he was appointed the central bank governor in 2009 helped to avert what would have been a great setback for the Nigerian banking industry. Today, there is stability in the exchange rate, inflation is kept relatively under control, which has ultimately culminated in the restoration of confidence in Africa's third largest economy. And Nigeria is steadily on its way to becoming one of the top 20 economies in the world. The world has reacted positively to the great strides of Malan Sunu Salami Sunusi and his courageous and bold moves to reposition the banking sector. Today, he has been rewarded both locally and internationally with bags full of awards. These awards include Central Bank Governor of the Year 2011, African Banker of the Year 2010 and the Forbes Personality of the Year Award for 2010 and 2011. One of the top 10 of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World 2011. The conferment of the traditional title of the Ammajan Kano or Malan Sunusi Lami the Sunusi by the Emir of Kano al Hajjadu Bayeru is without doubt the crowning glory of the Stalin legacy of service of this uncommon technocrat and detribalized Nigerian. At the special luncheon held at the residence of the Ammajan Kano, which attracted many dignitaries, traditional music held sway. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Shaka. In their separate goodwill messages, all those who spoke eulogized the new Ammaji for a well-deserved honor by his people and advised him to endeavor to continue to be a worthy ambassador of his people and the country at large. He was very, very intelligent. Amongst all of us as peers, he was one of the most intelligent. And um, uh, I remember when we were about 10 years old, he, he, he faced uh, the headmistress of the school and told her, Things were not going right in the school. <laughs> I mean, at that age, that's when people would cringe and fear. But he was able to say, look, and say quite well enough for there to be changes. Nigeria is really an A student, you know. Uh, I mean, right from the time he found his feet, you know, you could see it in him. You know, uh, if you take off line on any issue, you know, you will really appreciate his depth of knowledge, you know, and how intelligently he will approach such issue. You know, a lot of people know Lamido as um, a risk manager. But I worked with Lamido for three and a half years. Um, I found him to be a consummate professional. He was um, also at times stern and didn't suffer fools gladly at all. Yet he also had um, a, a heart of compassion when necessary in dealing with issues. He was also a mixture of some contradiction. He was both religious and social. So you find in him a complete package. Uh, at times it can be unusual because of his you know, princely background. Sometimes when the blood, uh, blue blood you know, oozes out, again you see him behaving like a royal. Uh, and he was in his partner of economics. So his interactions were with people like Bala Osman, uh, Dr. Konashi and so on. And they rocked on him. So at times he was always the face of a comrade. You know. So like I say, it's a complete package. You see so much so many contradictions in just one person. He was uh, at one time the Adan of his mosque of the of the hostel where he was staying. And he was also one of the chief organizers of parties. <laughs> He's one of those students who had the courage to question what was being taught. So the fact that he was chosen that year to as a great assistant, that is a, a, a demonstration that he was one of the best you know, in his group and that the university saw him as a potential you know, uh, academic. In the part of his uh, stay in the bank, he proved to be dynamic. In fact, I can say he is iPhone personified, his principal of that. We sent him on various courses overseas and uh, within the country, you know, professional courses. And he proved himself absolutely fantastic. And all the reports we received from our training institutions of work remain consistent on this rating. He is, no doubt, a triple A class. Uh, that has a dog for him. To give him death about Islamic affairs. So, in anything, I will call him an Islamic scholar, and I've met people who refer to him when they have uh, the issue of conflict uh, to resolve. He guides them. So, it's very deep. Five years in secondary school, there was a competition, I think, was it a French competition uh, for Lagos State? You know, and uh, the first time I started realizing his potential was most of us left here without uh, uh, background in French, you know. Most of the schools in Lagos, I mean the primary schools at that time, they were doing uh, French as a lesson, as a subject. We here will do English and at different. In fact, a bundle of energy. I think in the short time that he was CEO of uh, First Bank, he did so much to create strong motive power in the organization. And I'd like to believe that in that short period, the banking industry, at least was jolted to the extent that we were noticed even much more. Having previously worked with four different mind directors prior to working with him, he brought a differently new dimension to membership in the bank. I would remember him always for demystifying the office of a good managing director in the bank. He showed very clearly that you can do this work 
do it very, very well and yet have fun while doing it. That was learning day for him. I think he's a, he's a great person and he really, uh, he, he means well. Sanusi is somebody that I think uh, he makes a lot of us proud. He uh, proved to people that look, there is a great hope in Nigeria. A grand reception was held at the Sane Avacha Stadium to finally complete the turbulent ceremony of the CBN governor, Marlon Sanusi Lamida Sanusi. who spoke at the ceremony included the former Kano State Governor Malim Ibrahim Shikaru and the Kano State Deputy Governor Al Haji Dr. Abdullah Ganduji who represented Governor Rabi Musa Bankosu at the event. We are very grateful to His Royal Highness the Emma of Kano Al Haji Dr. Adobayaro for appointing our son, our brother Lamido, Sunusi Lamido, as the Ahmad and Kano. The Emirate Council has done a right choice. Sunusi Lamido, Sunusi, for this Ahmad, which has been covered today, there is no better choice than the Governor of Central Bank today. The choice is deserving from so many perspectives. First of all, Sunusi Lamido Sunusi is a well-educated person. Well-educated and economist well educated in Islam, in Arabic, and also well educated in contemporary politics in Nigeria today. You will agree with me when Sunusi, Lamido Sunusi, was invited by the Honorable Senate when he was presented to be interviewed by the Senate to find out whether he could do the job. I'm sure those who watched television, those who watched him live for over one hour, you know that Sunusi, Lamido Sunusi was equal to the task. He is somebody who has the following qualities and these qualities I have discovered from the work. When we were going through the orientation program at the School of Basic Studies on day one, um, the Dambaje is the first person who mixed freely in the bus, in the coach that was taking us um, around for the orientation program. So he's somebody who mixes very, very free, uh, freely 
with Nigerians from all parts of the country. Uh, as you can see from the turnout of, uh, of uh, the guests that we have uh, today, the guests cut across all parts of the country. And that is one quality uh, that we need in our traditional institution uh, today. So that is one major quality of uh, the Amaji. He jokes a lot, as many of our staff will testify, and many of our stakeholders. But then when it comes to serious business, he's also a very, very serious person. So he knows when to play, and he knows um, when, to, when to work. That, again, is a major quality of our, the, the, the traditional institution that we want going forward. And let me show our Anasan, <laughs> Again, the new Imajan Kano thanked everyone for the show of love and affection towards him and promised to do his best to use his new position to positively impact the lives of the people of Kano Emirate in Nigeria in general. I'd like to thank these well fathers for having taken the time to be with us and honored us and honored our family. Growing up as a child, the head of state of this country was generally Akubo Gawan. In fact, Gawan appointed my father ambassador in 1967. And just a great, it's a great personal honor that because of the memory of the relationship he had with my father, General Gawan deemed it fit to come and honor me with his presence today. Also, General Muhammad Buhari, former head of state. And I'd like to thank two other heads of state who had wanted to come. General Olusegun Obasanjo, up to midnight yesterday, was looking for an aircraft. And General Ibrahim Babangida, who could not come for health reasons, along with General Bissalami. I'd like to thank all of them for the honor they've done us. I'd also like to thank all the governors and all the deputy governors and all the representatives of governors that came today to the rest of the And I would like to thank all the AMS and the representatives of AMS who came for this turbaning. There are many people that go back from the beginning of my life. And Haji Amin Ben Tata was my father's was my father's best man when my father married my mother. And he's here with us today. I was saying that when General T.Y. Njuma was Chief of Army Staff, I was a young child in King's College with Murtala Mohammed as my guardian, jumping up to meet him when he comes to the house. And he was able to come again uh, today. Um, among those who came today was Ambassador August Junire, who joined the Foreign Service with my father in 1957. And who came to honor me, along with Ambassador Abdullahi Atta, 
who also worked with my father from as far back as 1958 or 59 till my father's death, very close friends. So looking at the audience, I've seen people who I've known from childhood, people who are my father's friends, people who were leaders of this country, um, present governors, present ministers, we have on our table the coordinating minister for the economy, but earlier we also minister of communications, the minister of agriculture, uh, the minister of interior, quite a number of them that came in today, the minister of state finance, uh, my friend and brother, the former finance minister, Dr. Masoud Mokhtar, and all the ladies and gentlemen, bank CEOs, heads of regulatory agencies, uh, bank directors, uh, classmates from school. But this speech will not be complete without thanking the Committee of Friends. Um, on your cards, you've seen four of their representatives, the Turaki of Colonel, the Magajin Garinza Zou, and but there were others. Wale Sokotobelo Machido, Mr. Wale Edun in Lagos, um, a number of staff in the Central Bank that gave institutional support, uh, friends, Dr. Abdul Bakar, um, friends from banking, friends from the university, to the rest to mention. So this is, I suppose, a very, very long way of saying something I could have said in two words. Thank you. We join other well-meaning people across the world to congratulate the Ammajan Kano, Marlon Sunusalami Do Muhammad Amin Sunusi for the great honor done to him by his people. Ma 